everyone, welcome back to Monique's bi-weekly 30-minute exercise sessions. Today we've got an exciting one, box exercise. I always love this. This is my, my favorite type of exercise. Basically, what it is is we're boxing. Um, you don't have to have a partner or like boxing mitts or any other equipment. I'm just going to be punching the air. And it's not as effective, but just as effective at bringing your heart rate up. If you do want to include your family members or friends in this activity, by all means, go ahead. Um, this time we've got 30 seconds on, 45 seconds off, five exercises, four rounds. I'll go through each of the different um, different combos we've got here, including upper body and lower body. So get ready to get your heart rate up and let's get started. We've got a three minute warm up. Let's start the timer. All right. So we're doing lots of arm workouts today. So let's do a couple of arm circles. Let's start out from our head and go down. Okay, we normally do this and we start with our head rolls. So really pulling your head down to the side and back all the way around and go the opposite way. Good. Now let's do your shoulders. Shoulders all the way up, all the way forward, down and back. Do that rotation, yeah. And go backwards. Stretch. Stretch. All right, now let's add all our arms to it. This time, arm circles. We'll start going backwards. Backwards. Oh, I'm going to hit something. I'll do it this way. Actually, I'll do it this way. Backwards. See how I get that rotation in my hands? My hands go Thumbs, twist, and down. Just like backstroke. And we'll go forward, forward. Really getting that stretch in your chest and then bringing it forward. Good. For those who are using some mitts or something, let's get some wrist rolls in there. You might feel a bit of pain in your wrist connecting with the pads. That's okay. All right, let's take a wide stance here and we'll do some trunk twists. Wide stance this time. You won't be able to go around as much. That's okay. You can look in one spot straight ahead or you can twist. That helps you get further. All right, staying in this position, let's do our toe touches. So what I do is touch the floor or you can touch your knees or touch your hips as long as you're bending at your hips there and hinging and then reach up to the sky. So bend down, reach up, reach up. Let's do two more. And I think that was three. My bad, I can't count. Okay, let's go do some leg swings. So hold onto the wall or a chair or something and swing your legs forward and backward. Make sure your to toes are pointing up so that you don't drag your foot across the floor. And stop to the other side. Good, the first exercise we're going to do is knee up and straight. So you bring one knee up and punch with the opposite hand. So like this, like that. Okay, follow me. Up, up, up. And so you can punch straight ahead or do it on a little bit of an angle as you can see here. And you can bring it and you can get faster. Bring your knees as high up as you can. Make sure you're breathing throughout. As you can hear, I kind of go. It helps you use your abs as well. Like I said last time, when you breathe out, like, okay, rest. When you do like a hard exhale, if you feel your abs, feel your stomach, you can, you see that you you use your abs. That's because, you know, your diaphragm and your ribs are touching, sorry, your abs are touching to your wrist when you contract it. You're bringing it down and squishing to blow out all your air in your lungs. So when you do these kind of movements, go. So then we got abs on at all times. All right, next one we've got step outs, five step outs and 10 uppercuts. Step outs, kind of like we're doing star jumps, but we're not jumping. 
So just take, bend your knee a little bit, take a step out to do five of those. And then we're gonna do 10 uppercuts. So you can have one leg behind and punching up. All right, let's start with the step out. One, two, three, four, five, 10 uppercuts. One leg in front, one leg behind and punching up like you're punching the roof. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Step outs again. One, two, three, four, five. Quick. Ten. One, two, three. One more. Two, three, four, five. Let's finish the uppercuts quick. Eight, nine, ten. All right, take a rest. When the, Even though the bell goes, I don't finish until my whole routine is finished. I don't just stop. One, two, okay, I'm done. You finish the whole thing, even if you go a bit over time, that's okay. All right, next thing we got is one, two, duck. So have your one leg in front, one leg behind. And we're gonna go one, two, and then duck is kind of like a little squat. So pretend someone's swinging at you and you duck a little bit. You can do a full squat if you want to, but it's that's completely optional. You don't have to, just a little one. So one, two, one, two. All right, follow me. Let's go. One, two. One, two. One, two. I like this one. This is one of my favorite ones as well. Swap. Swap legs. And go. Three, two, one. Beep. Rest. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, same kind of thing, but instead, we're going to add a kick instead. I mean, I've said instead twice. But anyway, so one leg in front, one leg behind. What you're going to do? One, two, step forward, kick. So you don't have to do like a, you can kick any way you want. I just want you to do like a forward kick. So you're just kind of bringing your leg forward and like pushing away. Like trying to push your Oh, don't, don't make a bad comment, Monique. Push someone away. <laughs> so one, two, push. Come back. And keeping that leg firmly on the ground and maintaining your balance. So one leg, come back. All right, start with me. Let's go. You don't have to bring it up high. One, two, boom. Kick hard. One, two. Swap to the other leg, other leg in front. Here we go. Kick. Kick. Yeah. Make noise. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Good job. If you need a bit more space for this one, I'm like, I'm gonna kick the camera away. That's okay, I'll step back. All right, next thing we got 20 hooks with and then touch the floor. So Hooks. Get okay, one foot in front, one foot behind again, whichever one you, you're comfortable with. And we're going to have our fists and get our chicken arms. You know, like you're doing the chicken dance. We're going to have our fists out and you're going to go around, around. So you're making like a hook. Hook. Hooking around, twisting your trunk as well. Anyway, so 20 hooks. And I want you to bend down, touch the floor like a frog, and get back up. So try this with me now. 20 hooks. One, two, three. At your own pace. And 20. Touch the floor. Get down. Touch the floor. Get back up again. Try and do this twice. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. Get down. Touch the floor. Up we get. Okay, that's good. We'll keep it at two. Try and get two rounds in that one, in that 30 seconds. Good job. Round one, finished. Get some rest and some water in you. So with the hooks especially, they don't want you swinging your arms. Tight, shh, control. It stops there. Boom, boom, boom. So then you have to use your muscles to decelerate. You're not going to go, whoa, whoa. You're going to tight. That's, that's your abs as well. Core workout. 
Anyway, back to our knee and punch. So, up, 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 up. Kind of like high knees. Ready? Here we go. Up. Start with whichever, start with whichever leg you want. Don't have to do it as fast as me. Look at a spot. We're doing a lot of single leg stuff, so you have to be able to maintain your balance. This is a little test of that today. Do three, two, one, rest. Oh, oh, making me tired now. See what I mean? This is always a workout for me. <laughs> All right. Okay, next thing we got on our list, five, sorry, not star jumps, five step outs, 10 uppercuts. Step outs, if you can go lower, I know some people have had some knee problems with like lunging and stuff, just go as low as you can. Just light, light bend, light bend. I'm not asking you to go, you know, too much. Up, up, and then uppercuts, one leg in front, one leg behind, and punch the roof. Let's start. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Try and get three rounds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Last ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, good job. Hopefully you got three. Tell me if you if you did if you didn't, that's fine. For those heart rates going a bit too fast, let's have our hands above our heads. We can walk around, get that blood pumping. For a workout, you don't have to stand still when you're in your cool down. Do a little walk around, just walk around the kitchen, wherever your living room. All right, ready? We're doing our one, two ducks. One leg in front, one leg behind. One, two, duck. And it's up to the other leg. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, good job. Next one is our one-two kick. Again, push. Or if you have, if you do have stability on that leg, you can do a twist. But see how like I lost my balance just then? It'd have to be kick back. This foot doesn't move. Or just bring your leg up in front. Boom, kick. You can switch it up. So you also have control over your own training. You have to just follow me. I ain't a dictator, so do whatever you want to do. And make it challenging for yourself. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. Ready. One leg in front, one leg behind. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. One, two, ba. And swap to the other leg. So we're kicking with the other leg now. One, two, boom. You might find one leg's harder than the other. Yeah. Good. See that one, my leg can't go as high. I was kind of going like, that's okay. Next thing we've got. 20 hooks, then touch the floor. So it's not like, it doesn't sound hard, but for a lot of people actually getting all the way down to the ground and getting back up is difficult. Like, you know, when you're gardening or something or you're picking something up, doing something on the floor, sweeping, and then some people might have to like hold something or, you know, really push. 
with their arms to help themselves get up. That's something that I want to focus on as well. It seems like a very common like functional activity issue. Ooh, all right. Hooks, 20 hooks and touch the ground. One. Twenty. Touch the ground. All the way down. Try and get up without your hands if you can. All right, one more, quick. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Finish it up. Get down to the ground and get back up again. Good. Round two finished. This is flying by. Oh my gosh. Halfway done already. Time flies. And you're having fun. I wish, wish I could have music and stuff too. Like if you can, put some music on in your house. It really gets you going. I can't because I because of copyright, but definitely do it. It just makes the vibe so much fun. And then you start dancing and ah, oh, damn. This lockdown. Ooh, in Australia, we're in, we're in lockdown for those who are overseas. Oh, it's been hard. I just want to dance. I just want to dance. All right. <laughs> Knee up and straight punch. So up. Bring that knee up as high as you can. Bring these dance moves to the dance floor when you when you can go back to them. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Beep. Good. Rest. And then the next thing we're going to do is our step outs and our uppercuts. I miss, I miss all the photos. Where are the, where are the, um, the workout photos? I love seeing those. I love showing all my friends. Look at these people. They think my workouts are so good. <laughs> and also, check out um, the IWL YouTube channel because I've produced a couple of videos and I'm still going to be producing some. And if you have any recommendations, let me know and I'll film it. All right. <sighs> Step out, sorry. Feet together. Step outs and then um, uppercuts. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Uppercuts, here we go. And... Step out, two, three, four, five, six, oh, five, sorry. Here we go. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again. Oh, four, five, ten. Quick. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Sorry about my doggo out there. All right, one, two, duck next. Mm -mm. I'll pour this water over my head. Oh my gosh, it's very humid today. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and focus on my own breathing. Get ready for our one, two, duck in five seconds. There we go. And start. One, two, duck. Five seconds and swap to the other side. Three, two, one, swap legs, keep going. Got a lot of trunk twisting. That's okay. Twist, twist. Rest. So all of these, like boxing, you see they have ripped abs because they got to stop themselves. So they twist, twisting, using those abs. You've got the lateral flexion. You've got the, sorry, you got the twisting. You've got the crunches as well. Standing strong, wide stance, strong abs, strong arms. That's what we want to see. One, two, kick next. 
try some fancy kicks this time. I'm going to try my... Whoa. All right. One leg in front, one leg behind. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, four. Yeah. Oh, see, I need a control. Stop. Bam. All right, stop. Oh, my left leg is not good. Bam. One more. Yeah. Good job. See how when you kick, when I'm kicking over there, I'm leaning this way, gets me off balance. And then my foot starts moving and I completely lose it. So if that's too hard, which it is, even for me, go up in front, boom, kick in front. Oh, if I spill that on the floor, I will get in trouble. All right, um, last one of this round, 20 hooks, and then we've got our little froggy, froggy on the floor thing touch. Okay, let's go. Thirteen, fourteen, nineteen, twenty. Touch the floor and get back up. Let's go again. Ten, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Touch the floor. Get back up. That's it. Last round. Hold out for a little bit longer. Drink your water. Not too much. When I do it, like that's why I drink it, like every after every round i'm only taking a sip mm. so then if i'm if i'm gulping it then i'll get a stitch Woo! let's go let's go all right what do we got our first one is knee up straight punch try and do this one a little bit faster if you want to add a jump like how do i explain this start slow and you can you don't have to do that if you don't want to I'm not going to. Just try and bring your knee. Ooh, high. All right, ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Going. Halfway. Breathing throughout in this one. And rest. All right, let's breathe. Breathing in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Really letting it go when you breathe it out. Just to tell you before we start, next one is step out and uppercut. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, feet together. One, and go. Two, three, four, five. Uppercut. Again. One, two, three, four, five. Uppercuts. One more. Two, three, four, Five, last one, uppercut. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's good. Here we go. Diaphragm. Should you got everyone who's been doing this regularly should be able to do this by now. Feel it breathing into their stomach. Next one. 
next level up. Sorry, the next one we're doing is our one two duck. All right, ready? Three, two, one, one two duck. Let's go. One two duck. Keep those hands in front of your face. Swap to the other side. There you go. Thirty seconds. Two, one, beep. There we go. Ooh, we got three more left. Three more. Mm -mm. Mm. Two more, two more, two more. Well, wow. all right. One, two, kick next. I'm not going to be silly this time. I'm going to kick front, front kick. And it's not like a like a flicky kick either. It's bringing your leg up and then push. Okay, kind of like those. You know how we did those leg, those, you did the knee extension and the hip extension like that? Kind of the same thing, bringing it up. And down, up, down. All right, let's go. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. One, two, lean back, kick. Don't lean to the side, kick. So up to the other leg. Here we go. Kick. And push, push, push. Three, two, one more. Boom. There we go. One more left. All right, let's bring our heart rate down. Diaphragms. Here we go. The last one we're doing is our 20 hooks and then touch the floor. Ready? Here we go, one leg in front, one leg behind. Let's go. One, two, Eleven, twelve. 17, 18, 19, 20. On the floor, up you get. One more. Six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12. 18, 19, 20. On the floor, hold it there, hold it there. Let's wait for the beep. Up you get, no hands. No hands. Good. <laughs> All right. Have a sip of water for a second. We're gonna do our cool down. All right, while you guys are cooling down, let's do a little, do a little walk. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna do it in a little circle here, get on the spot, but I want you to walk and do some ankle rolls while you're walking, do some shoulder rolls, do some arm circles, forward, backward. Just do that for a minute, keep ourselves moving. We can do a little butt kick steps. Okay, coming back to the center. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, grab something or have something nearby to hold on to. And we're gonna do our quadriceps stretch. So the muscle in the front here, bring your foot to your butt and feel it's stretch all down here. Swapping to the other leg on the other side. All right, and rest. Now, just a little sneak peek at a little stuff I wanna delve into next week. Next week, yes, next week on Wednesday, 
I want to do some balance and proprioception exercises. So we're going to start with stalk stand. So, or just having one foot above the ground if you can't bring it up here. So just standing on one foot, keep your eyes open, try and maintain your balance. You can have your arms out, you can have your hands on your hips. So those with lower back pain as well, it's important to look at your balance because if you have back pain, maybe you're unable to keep the right posture or maybe your center of gravity is kind of out of whack. So that means like say you're walking and you're like, you could be leaning the wrong way or unstable and hence there's lots of, lots of weird contractions of your back there. And especially for those who are older, balance is really important. Okay, what I want you to do now is stand with two feet together, right together as close as you can, hands on your hips, and I want you to close your eyes for me. Have a wall or something nearby. I want you to close your eyes. Try not to sway. That's the end. Keep it closed and open. Hopefully you guys can, you guys were able to do that. We will do a little, some little balance tests on, um, on Wednesday. So next week is going to be balance proprioception exercises. Proprioception is just um, being aware of your body in space. So being able to um, like keep yourself in one position, things like that. So you're not all over the place being able to detect those awkward changes in your body and your body when your body moves. So balance and proprioception exercises along with some other strength exercises as well because those two are very, very important for rehab, prehab, any any issues you have, those are fundamentals. So balance, proprioception and resistance training. See you on Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Bye.